Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking all about my eyebrows, how I groom them, products I use to fill them in, and some things that kind of help to speed up their growth. Just to give a little bit of background, I have been growing out my brows for well over a year now, and I will insert some old, really embarrassing YouTube video clips to show you what my eyebrows looked like without makeup. Yeah, I don't know why I plucked them so much, so. Something else was embarrassing about those videos. I mean, so many things. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see what my brows look like and then we'll get started. Okay, so these are my brows with absolutely nothing in them. Sorry, I have to use the viewfinder as a ca uh, camera, yes. So I always like to brush my eyebrows up before I do any grooming. Now I should say, I don't groom my brows at all. I have completely stopped plucking them and you can see I have all of this like regrowth under here. I honestly don't mind it. I know it's not a look that everyone likes, but there are two different ways that I fill in my brows to kind of mask that and then one just lets it be. So whatever your preference is, I think you'll find something within this video that will be helpful. If you're not into this grown out brow look, I do have a video where I show a tip for uh, how to groom your brows, but keeping them in your nice shape without compromising like any new growth. I don't know what I'm saying. Watch the video, you'll see what I mean. If I ever felt the need to remove hair from here or like if I had something that was like really low down that I needed to take care of, I always just use a pair of tweezers. I know not everyone likes it because it's like kind of painful and you're like pulling hairs out one by one as opposed to like a quick strip of wax. Do it as soon as you get out of the shower if you want to do it. Just don't go crazy with these because it gets dangerous. Okay, so getting into what I actually do for grooming, the only thing that I do is trim my hairs. So what I do is I like to brush all my hair up like this. Should definitely be using a mirror for this. So I don't really like to trim these hairs here because I like to kind of push them up and make them look bushy. So I really just kind of focus on like this area over here and the tail because sometimes they'll be like curly and like lifted off of my face. Okay, so that is the extent of my eyebrow grooming. It definitely was annoying growing them out at first because I just had a lot of like sparse hair like right under here that wasn't exactly attached to like the arch of my brow. So it just looked very out of place. It's like transitioning to curly hair, you know? It's like there's that weird in-between period, but then it all gets better. I also really wanna mention quickly this little spoolie brush. I buy these in bulk on Amazon. And there is something so good about these little disposable brushes. This one is so nasty, it needs to be thrown out. You know, like some brow products have these little brushes on the end. These are so soft and um, I don't know, I love the way these brush my brows out. You need these in your life. We're now going to fill in my brows and I just wanna talk about some of my favorite brow products. I have two brow pencils that I absolutely love and they are the Milk Makeup Gel Brow as well as the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylus Pencil and Gel. So this Milk Makeup Gel Brow is pretty soft but not overly to the point where it's too creamy and just kind of slides around. So with this, I really just like to feather my brows. This really is a long wear brow product. It stays really well for me the entire day. And I also love the color, how it's more of an ash tone. So this is a really, really great color if you have um, hair or eyebrows that are similar in tone. So moving on to the nude sticks. This is one of the more chunky type pencils, but I really like this for quick application. It gives me more of like a defined brow when that's what I'm looking for. Again, it has a great ashy tone that is perfect. And I just overall really like this. This is something that makes it very fast to do my eyebrows. It's just like a kind of a couple of strokes and I'm done. But the most amazing part of this is the brow gel that's on the other side. When I tell you your brows will not move with this gel, I'm not even joking. And it really gives you that nice feathered brow look. And then we have brow products that I use when I don't fill in my brows. That's not to say that I won't set my eyebrows with one of these if I do fill them in, but these I tend to reach for more so if my brows are not filled in and I just wanna add a little bit of tint to them and just kind of keep them in place. So the first is the Glossier Boy Brow. I have the shade Brown. I really love this tiny little brush. It makes it really easy to kind of like push my brows in the different directions that I want them to go. The tint adds a nice fullness and thickness to my brows. 
and you can kind of run the excess product like in any spots that are a little bit sparse and it kind of fills them in that way. And then we have the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel. Again, I have this in the tinted version and this is in the shade Dutch. These do keep my brows in place pretty well. I have, like pretty heavy brow hairs that like to droop throughout the day. So these do a pretty good job of holding them up, but I really love the thickening and the tinting uh, that these provide. Okay, so now we're gonna fill in my brows. And what I like to do is fill in the top portion of my brows first. So I feel like when I fill in the bottom, and I don't even always fill in the bottom, but um, I always start off with the top because then I know how much to fill in on the bottom without them looking like too much. I like to raise my arch just a little bit because it actually makes my forehead appear a little bit smaller. <laughs> just small little strokes. I really try not to fill in anything like from here forward just because I feel like it adds too much of a blocky effect. And then I'll just go in very lightly right here. So this is more of my light daytime everyday brow when I'm not wearing much makeup but I still want them to look defined. So now on this side over here I'm also going to fill in the underneath portion so you can see what my more dramatic brow looks like. Now I'm just gonna go underneath and all I really do for this is see where these little hairs are here. I kind of tried to get a lot of them, not all of them because there are some that are a little bit lower, but I try to get most of them kind of in the brow. So we'll start like right here and start to fill in. So it's definitely a very subtle difference, but I feel like just adding that little bit underneath really makes them stand out a bit more. Daytime natural, full face made up. Okay, I'm going to do this side now just to match them. Now to set them, taking the Nude Sticks gel and I'm going to brush these brow hairs upwards and then the rest, swipe them like that. All right, the brows are filled in. I just have one more thing I wanna talk about and that is the Majestic Pure 100% Pure and Organic Eyelash Serum. And this is basically like castor oil. I got this off of Amazon. I've mentioned this a few times before, but I, when I was growing my brows out, would put this on religiously every single night. And I kind of gotten a little bit lazy with it now and I'll use it just like a few times a week. But I really think that this helps my eyebrows to grow. So I do recommend using some sort of help, some supplement, nourish your eyebrows. I know that vitamin E oil, but even like sweet almond oil and of course castor oil are all really good for strengthening your hair and allowing it to grow. I'd recommend using something like this if you were interested in having your beautiful eye bushes grown out. Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope that this cleared up any questions you have. And for some reason, the rest of my outro got cut off, but I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and wonderful week.